Electric car sales in China have broken new records once again, month after month after month. We can repeat this over and over and over. Now, electric car sales have risen at a far faster pace than plug-in hybrid or e-rev sales. So a lot of people think that actually hybrids are the future, or at least the immediate future, but the statistics actually don't back up those claims because EV sales grew by just under 40% which was a much higher pace than either hybrids or any other type of drivetrain in China. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. CNF Post has just revealed the numbers here. NEV sales grew by 30%. So sales in the month of June actually increased by 29.7% year on year and they increased by 8.2% versus the previous month, so versus May. However, EV sales increased by 33% year on year, contributing 60% of all NEV sales. Now, interestingly, one form of drivetrain is increasing significantly that's not an EV, and I'll get to that in just a second. It's one that I think is a better option than a plug-in hybrid, put it that way. In June, China's passenger NEV retail sales were 1.111 million. So let's just go with 1.11 million. That's an increase of 29.7% versus the same month last year. And this exceeds the expectations of the Chinese government. The Chinese government basically said more than likely the numbers would be 1 million and 70,000, but the number exceeded that by around about 40,000. This is the highest monthly retail sales figure for passenger NEVs in China this year. And it's the second time this year that sales have exceeded 1 million units. The reason it's not the highest ever is because the auto market in China is very, very seasonal and the highest selling months of the year are always November and December. It's just the way it always is. EVs accounted for 661,000 units, up 33% year on year and 7.8% month on month, according to the CPCA. So you can see here EVs are growing at a faster pace than hybrids. Plug-in hybrid vehicles, in, well, excluding extended range vehicles or e-revs, their sales were 334,000, which accounts for 30% of new energy vehicle sales. So EVs, 60%, plug-in hybrids, 30%. And interestingly, that means plug-in hybrid sales did increase, but by 32%, not the massive numbers that we've been hearing from many people. E-REVs, they're growing as well. E-REV sales accounted for 10% of all new energy vehicle sales. So you've got plug-in hybrids, 30%, E-REVs, 10%, and fully electric cars, around 60%. 116,000 E-REVs were sold. E-REVs are a little different to plug-in hybrids. I actually think they're a better option. A lot of automakers are moving away from plug-in hybrids to go to E-REVs. And I'll you know, get into more details on why that is in a separate video. This is the interesting thing though, right? FEVs and EREVs combined, they sold 450,000 out of the 1.11 million. The rest were fully electric, BEVs. And that's growth of 23.7% year on year. So 23.7% growth for hybrids and 34% growth for fully electric cars. I think you can see uh, the clear trend here. Now I should mention, the best-selling automaker in China, BYD, they sell cars obviously at extremely affordable prices, do a great job on those cars, great marketing. I do think there's some better options available from other manufacturers, but still at the same time, BYD cars are excellent. And of course, they don't sell e-revs and their EVs are decent, but a lot of people would say in China, there are EVs that are better options, let's be honest, there is. So really what BYD does the part of the market they've really cornered is plug-in hybrids. And I think a large part of these plug-in hybrid sales is coming from the fact that BYD sells them so incredibly cheap. You can get a pretty good plug-in hybrid in, in, in China for 15,000 US dollars or less. China's total passenger vehicles, including sedans, SUVs, and MPVs saw retail sales of 2 million units, in fact, 2,084,000 in June, growth of 18% year on year. So car sales have actually increased this year versus last year, not by a lot. You can see they're actually, you know, relatively similar to last year, but a little bit bigger than last year. So the Chinese government's 
intentions to stimulate the car buying economy, get more people to buy EVs, is very clearly working. Also, what does this mean when it comes to percentage numbers? Well, 53.3% of all cars sold were NEVs. 53.3% were new energy vehicles. Some of the newer cities like Shanghai, almost, I think it's about 90% were NEVs. Might even be a bit more than that. Might be about 92%. It's very, very high in more modern cities. It's some of the older cities that are not as technologically advanced where people are maybe more reticent to buy an EV. And I think that's probably what's holding things up here. But overall, these sales numbers are really good. I mean, 30% growth is fantastic. 33% growth for fully electric cars in the world's biggest car market really gives us an indicator of where the car market globally will be in 10 years time. To give you some context as well, global EV sales have risen by around 30% so far this year from the month from January all the way through to the end of May. We're up about 30% as well globally. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye-bye. Electric car sales in China have skyrocketed a further 42% in the month of April, 42%, which is insane. We're talking the world's biggest car market here. This means there's a very likely possibility that more than 16 million electric cars will be sold in China this year alone, more than 16 million. If you think about it, guys, all car sales worldwide are going to be about 80 million this year. At least 16 million of those will be electric just from China, without even counting EV sales in the rest of the world. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us in April. right? In April, 52.3% of all cars sold were electric, 52.3%. Now, of those, some were plug-in hybrids, some were fully electric, but around 70% were fully electric. So that gives you a, a good indicator of actually demand for electric cars is actually growing faster than demand for plug-in hybrids. China's new energy vehicle retail sales saw year-on-year -year growth last month, despite a decline from March. This means that at the wholesale level, sales were up 41%. The passenger car level, they're up 37%. Even though they're down 7% from March, which is remarkable. So far this year, cumulative retail sales of China's passenger NEVs stood at 3.34 million, up 37% year over year. That's a pretty damn good number considering the fact that China doesn't buy many cars in the first three months of the year. I'm sure you guys know, but if you're new to the channel, in China, the months of January, February, and March, they really make up a very small percentage of China's car sales for the entire year. Probably around 50% of China's sales actually come in the final four months of the year. 